Hey everybody, welcome back to Eye to Eye, the place where we talk about anything and everything Disney. My name is Kyle, and thank you for joining us. It is just me today, Jessica is at work, and is probably not going to have a very flexible schedule today, so you're stuck with me for another trailer reaction. This time we're going to be reacting to Obi-Wan Kenobi, the official trailer. No more teasing, this is the official trailer for the series, and I would suspect this is probably the last one aside from some TV spots and things like that that you're going to probably be seeing. This is typically what happens with the Disney Plus trailers. Hopefully, we're going to see the big guy himself, Darth Vader. If I don't see him, I'm going to be a little disappointed, or at least just a, a hint, a whiff, a breath of him. So let's watch this trailer right now, and then I'll give you my thoughts afterwards. Got to love the sand stuff. He looks much better. Or we will not survive. A lot of the same stuff so far. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. Ooh, we're getting that. You still want Kenobi. He's gone. You've been looking in the wrong places. So obviously he leaves Tatooine. I want every low life and bounty hunter. Oh, that's gonna be cool. He's a bride. You can't run all we want! Those are some really cool bounty hunters. You can't escape him! That's him. Yes! That's what I needed right there. Didn't have to see if I just wanted to see something, hear something. That's awesome. And I love the way they do that now with the Disney Plus thing. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. I, I, it wasn't a whole lot of extra in there, but it's got me hyped for this limited series. They're very adamant about telling you that it's going to be a limited series, which is interesting, right? I guess they don't want people to expect anything else after this. I mean, how much how much story you can tell after this one little version of Obi-Wan trying to convince Owen Lars to let him train Luke at some point and then going off and doing his own thing and we don't I know we know that Darth Vader and Obi-Wan don't have a ton of battles together, so you can't have them like meeting up every few years in the time between episodes three and episodes four, but there's probably going to be that climactic battle. I think I've heard, this could be spoiler territory, so be careful here. It's not anything major, but I think I've heard there's going to be at least like two battles between the two of them in this, but we all know where it's leading to is at the end of the season, them having some big confrontation together, and we're probably going to see, you know, Hayden Christensen take the helmet off. That's not, I'm guessing that. That's just me. Uh, but the fact that they're acknowledging that you know you you can't run from him. He's here. Uh, that's exactly what this trailer and this series is supposed to do: is build towards that big moment where they're facing off post Mustafar. I think it's been great. I like that they're going the way they went with. Owen Lars, obviously it matches the way his character is in episode four, being very aggressive and resentful towards Obi-Wan for what his attachment to this family has meant, whether that be right or wrong. I think that's a very smart way to go with it. It makes a lot of continuity, makes it makes a lot of sense. I, I just, I like that we're getting those guys back. The other thing is with the Inquisitors, especially the Grand Inquisitor, I noticed that a lot of people were upset with the way he kind of looks in live action versus uh, on the series, the animated series. It's hard to translate that over completely. I thought in that first shot of him, it looked exactly like uh, he did in the series. But then when you, know, you get that closer picture, the head's a little bit more rounded, not as more uh, long, elongated, I guess. I don't know if that's what you would call it. Uh, he's a Utapawan, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so not a lot of extra stuff in this this was put out obviously for may the 4th may the 4th be with you by the way to get the hype built for that and it's only a few weeks away by the way it's on my birthday and i'll be in disney world during that time does it get any better than that you're in disney world obi-wan begins and you know you get to celebrate all that today in one big day it's 
I don't know if birthdays can get much better than that. So I'm excited. I didn't really pick up on anything super extra in the trailers other than the fact that they're going to be sending bounty hunters after them, which I love the whole bounty hunter lore and bounty hunter parts of Star Wars. So anytime they can bring that in, that's a really big thing for me. So maybe we'll see some things with... I don't know. I'm just, you know, maybe Boba Fett comes back up in that, a much older Boba Fett. I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing here. But let me know what you think. I want to know your thoughts of our new official trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi here on May the 4th. Let me know down there in the comments section below. If you haven't, please do smash the like button if you enjoyed this type of content. And please do subscribe if you like our content and want more of it so you don't miss any uploads or live streams here on ITY. Till we assemble again, may the force be with you, and I'll see you real soon.